episode today. We're celebrating 20 years of Armada music! <laughs> Two decades ago, myself, David Lewis and Michael Piron decided to take on a mission to release and to promote music that we love. And never in our wildest dreams did we think we could be standing here celebrating 20 years. So we've, um, we've made something special. It's not your usual state of trance, but uh, an episode uh, to celebrate 20 years of Armada music. Coming up, some very special guests. I think this is an incredible lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Sixma, Perry O'Neill, Signum, David Forbes, Ferry Corson, Harry and James, the A&R guys of uh, Armada. And uh, a couple, I'll play a couple of the, my favorite songs of 20 Years Armada as well. And uh, But first, I want to start off with uh, the man that we owe it all to. Co-founder and the CEO of Armada Music. And one of my best friends. You don't see him on a state of trance, but I've asked him to come and join me. Make some noise for Michael Piron. Thank you, Alan. Well, uh, I, I, uh, when we were talking about setting up this episode, I said I want Michael behind the decks because little do you know, but he's actually an amazing DJ. He's going to show us in just a little bit, but um, <laughs> no so pressure, let's no let's let's go back to uh, 2003 because that's the year that we uh, mm. we started Armada. It was a crazy idea at the time. You were working at uh, Warner Music, correct? Yeah. And I was uh, doing my little label Armind with United Recordings, and mm-hmm. we sat down together and we had a vision. Do you remember that? And we went to uh, Ibiza. Ibiza. And, and we were sitting there on the rooftop. And then Coastline we, Cafe. And Coastline Cafe, San Antonio. And uh, first we went to the UK, then to Ibiza. And in Ibiza we were saying like, hey, shall we start something together? Right? And, and it was and called... where the magic happened. And it was called Mad Management. Mad Management. Management. Michael, Armin, Dave. <laughs> And after a couple of months, we decided to change it, right? To change the name. Yeah, and yeah. remember, you you emailed me during Christmas in 2002 saying, no, it should be Armada, because it's yeah. the first two letters of our names. And I was like, oh, what a great idea. And I think that it's better than Matt, right? We are not that mad. No, exactly. <laughs> and if you look back on 20 years of Armada music, what has been the hardest thing? And what was your absolute highlight? Is there anything that springs to mind? I think the hardest thing is to set up a company and, and, and to start and get it rolling. Mm-hmm. And once it was rolling, it's like, you know, we, we were like on a train and it's still, we are still on a train. And um, so that starting was the hardest and, and keeping the level up and, and, and uh, growing is, is something I love doing every day. And we are working with the best product in the world, music. Yes. So standing up every day and working on this company is still a gift. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And what does the future have in store for us? I mean, I could talk with you for hours about this, but we, I just want to look at the future because we just started a new thing called Beat. Yeah. No, Tell us so, about it. So yeah, okay. So Beat is, the, the, is, is our investment company. And uh, after 20 years, we decided to structure something new so we can fuel Armada with some classic records as well, because we there is an opportunity to buy uh, music in the world. Uh, so we decided to do that in order to create even more creativity in our company for our artists. And uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a huge opportunity for us. And. Uh, the amount of people uh, are, who are willing to work with us in this company is insane. So I'm excited. Yeah, yeah I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for your support. You've, you know, we've we've known each other for years, but not a lot of people know that you are the guy that actually helped my career, uh, helped this radio show as well. And not a lot of people see you, but this is a, a great time that we can actually come together. We have offices now in New York in London, here in Amsterdam, and I can't believe it. It's such a joy to come to work every day. So yeah. I want to, to thank you for that, man. It's, yeah, uh, thank it's really you. incredible. And thank you. Working 20 years together with you is still a super joy. And I think we are ready for the future. And, uh, you know, I, I hope we can do this for another 40 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> even even more gray, right? <laughs> so uh, let's, um, enough talking. Let's, uh, let's jump on the decks. We're going to look back on 20 years. And I've asked you to mix three of your favorite Armada tracks. 
Nou ja, you know, those tracks, um, there are so many favorite Armada tracks for me. And um, I start with a record from Lufthaus. And 20 years ago, we couldn't imagine, I think, that iconic pop artists like Will, uh, Robbie Williams were going to set up a, uh, their own electronic music uh, project. Yeah. And now we've signed Robbie Williams and Lufthaus. Uh, so that's for me like something we couldn't imagine 20 years ago. And after 20 years, we are working with this type of artist, which is insane, I think. Um, then I have in uh, the pockets, She Came uh, in an Avira remix. Uh, and the last track is uh, something which is still like going wild. Uh, yesterday, Radio Brussels uh, uh, included the track. It's uh, Transmission by Ilke. Awesome. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Michael Piron in the mix. So 
Amsterdam, the CEO of Armada Music, celebrating 20 years of Armada Music. Give it up for Michael Piron! And uh, looking forward to uh, two more decades of releasing music. And uh, yeah, it's incredible. Thank you for doing this. I know it's a big thing, so... Uh, no, I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. Normally I do this in my basement. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for the opportunity. And uh, thanks for 20 years of working together, Armin. And, uh, and Ilke, congratulations with this future classic. Right? Thank you. Thank <laughs> because you we have another guest in the studio, Ilke Klein. Hey! Oh, thank you. And, and, and thank you for picking it, of uh, one of your three favorites from uh, 20 years, Armada. I think it's such a big track. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Transmission is absolutely rocking the main radio charts at the moment. Did you expect it to blow up like this? No, absolutely not. Because I, I remember the original version, I thought it was, wow, this is amazing, but... I actually thought it wasn't finished. I thought it needed something extra, but I, I didn't really know what. So I just decided to go with it as it was. Less is more, my friend. I, I know, That's I know. That's what we know here at Amal Music. I'm learning that. So uh, are you working on a follow-up for a transmission or? Yes. Well, uh, Self Control is just out, which is a little bit different, but it's sort of an unofficial follow-up. And mm -hmm. I have something coming up in uh, August, September, which is a little bit more close to transmission, but still different. Okay. And uh, what has been your most precious Armada Music moment? Is Ooh. there anything that comes to mind? Like a gig you did or... Oh, that's a good question. I think um, closing here after uh, the third hour after you. This was about two or three years ago, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah, was yeah. A, that was a big honor. Yeah, still people, uh, still people mention that set. Incredible. Yes. Um, we are also managing your label, Days Like Nights, through Armada Music. Why yes. did you decide to join the family? It seemed like a really, really good move at the time. And um, I've, I've always loved the Armada sound. I've loved your music. I've known Michael for a long time. And um, this was early 2017. And I, I felt like I needed a home for all of my music. And um, I asked to, uh, I, I spoke to Jeroen upstairs. He was, uh, he was very um, happy with it. And, and so we decided to go with it. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being part of the family. And uh, it's incredible. I really can't wait to hear your music and what you're going to come up with in the next couple of years. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ilke Klein. <laughs> you're listening to a special episode of A State of Trance this week. We're celebrating 20 years of Armada music. I'm Armin van Buren in the studio with Ruben Durant. And we just had Michael Piron, the CEO. And we decided to ask some of the people that were very important for the label is history in 20 years music. So we did some uh, phoning around and I'm very happy to introduce the very special guest once again. Armada Music started out with the main label, Armind, a state of trance, but we wanted to go back to 2004 because there were so amazing uh, progressive tracks around then. And in came Perry O'Neill, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. <laughs> He was one of the scouts and producers for the label that is still a part of the roster, Electronic Elements, and he uh, pretty much came out of retirement to play some of his biggest Armada music tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy that he's back. Give it up for Perry O'Neill!
You're listening to A State of Trance, sending you on a trip down progressive memory lane, and I'm super happy he's here with us today, Mr. Perry O'Neill! Well, so good to see you, uh, my friend. Yeah, it's been a while. I know. <laughs> What can you tell us? What do you remember of the first days of uh, Armada music? It, it was uh, like crazy. I'm coming from like the, the sort of farmer side of Holland and then all of a sudden playing around the world within a year is like, uh, what's going on? I remember the Armada nights at uh, uh, Amnesia in Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? And this sound was the totally hot sound at that time. Yeah, I used to, I remember playing this one also, of course. And uh, I used to finish my set, but the previous one, Way Force, which I think was my biggest hit. Yeah, it, was, did, yeah. it did incredible. Um, you've stopped making music a while ago, but uh, we spotted that you created a music profile on Instagram again. <laughs> <laughs> and does that mean that Perry O'Neill is back? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm kind of back, yes. It's, it's took a little uh, yeah, vacation time, so to speak. <laughs> but uh, I don't say it in English, but the, the blood doesn't... Uh, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the blood doesn't crawl or, or something like that. It's <laughs> the wrong expression, but, but you're back at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, one year ago, I just, uh, yeah, it started to trickle again. So I'm uh, back in the studio a lot of times. So I'm releasing, not releasing any much, but just making music and then... Sending a lot of stuff your so way. What, what, so you were a DJ and a producer for, for quite a while. You were playing on a lot of the Armada nights as well in the early days. But what are you doing now? Uh, marketing. Marketing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Basically, basically getting people more fans, so to speak. Or, or, okay. more, or more leads, yeah. But music has been my main passion for, yeah, for the remainder of my life. Remainder. <laughs> the yeah. last of my life. So <laughs> I'm getting back into it. So uh, I'm expect to, yeah, spending a lot of time in the studio. Kind of reinventing the sound that I had then. But now in like a 2023 jacket. Okay, well, can I ask you a favor then? Of course. When, once your tracks are finished and you're ready to share them with the world, will you do it here first in the State of Trance, please? That's a promise, yeah. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Give it up for Yay. Perry O'Neill! <laughs> We're celebrating 20 years of Armada music with this special episode of A State of Trance. And one of the pillars of Trance and Big Root side of things is the man behind the decks right now. He joined Armada Music in 2008 with his project M6 and the track Fade to Black and many big songs follow. We even did a track together. He's a good friend of the show and I'm happy he's here. Make some noise for Mark Sixma! <laughs>
You're tuned in to a special episode of A State of Trance. Live on the decks, give it up for Mark Sixma! Woo! We're having a birthday party today, celebrating 20 years of the label Armada Music. Mark, you've joined us uh, after five years in 2008. Yep. So Arm Armada Music was uh, a little bit more established. What, what can you remember from the early days? Uh, I mean, my first track getting signed on Armada was actually a happy accident. Uh, Fade to Black. I know I signed. Uh, I did a track, Destination Six, which you played as a tune of the week. I was super happy with that. And then uh, I wasn't sure if I was ready to sign with a big label like Armada yet. But uh, Willem from W and W, he told me you were looking for tracks for Armin only. So I thought I'm just gonna send this track, Fade to Black. And you uh -huh. played it like within a week and uh, signed the track. And yeah, the rest is history. If you could pick one moment out of the last 15 years, one highlight, maybe for yourself or for uh, something established to the label or. I mean, uh, doing our track Penta Ray together, premiering it for yeah, 20, 30,000 people in uh, the Jaarbeurs in Utrecht. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, definitely yeah. a highlight for me. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, what's coming up in the M6 universe? Uh, I got a new one coming up with uh, Luke Bond. Uh, it was already included in your uh, State of Trance compilation, I think. Yep. So uh, that one's coming up soon. Uh, working on some yeah, new tracks with the Origin. Uh, working on my own material. Yeah, lots of new stuff. Awesome. Well, I'm glad. Unlike Perry O'Neill, I'm glad you're still with us and still uh, <laughs> DJing and producing. So keep yeah. up uh, the good work. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. One Thank more you. time for Mark Sixma. <laughs> It's a special episode, we're doing things a little bit different here to celebrate 20 years of Armada music. Earlier you saw Michael Piron, the CEO, you had Perry O'Neill, we had Mark Sixma. More incredible guests coming up like Ferry Corsten and Dave Forbes. Dave Forbes is in the house as well. And more Sixman special guests. Well. Yeah. This is a very special moment if you ask me because I have to explain a little bit how this works. In general, when I sign music to one of my labels, it's already been scouted and pre-selected by two men that are behind the decks right now. They play a big part in the music you hear every week, and they are the artist and repertoire managers, in short, A&R at Armada Music, that listen to hundreds of demos when you're sending a demo to uh, uh, the demo link on armadamusic.com. These are the guys that uh, you'll be dealing with, scouting for that special song or artist, and they're very, very critical, which is they have to be, sometimes very harsh, sometimes very <laughs> joyful. <laughs> So they deserve a spotlight on the show tonight because they play a uh, really important role here in the state of trance. And they play you their favorite signings from the last 20 years. Give it up for Harry and James!
You're tuned in to a special episode of A State of Trance, celebrating 20 years of Armada music and just behind the decks. Make some noise from James and Harry! <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining on the decks today. Uh, for if you've just uh, joined us and you're wondering who the hell are James and Harry, well, they are the guys that uh, help us behind the scene with the thing called A&R, Artist and Repertoire. They're responsible for signing uh, the tracks that you hear a lot on the State of Trance and uh, a lot of our other labels. So uh, I'm happy and proud that you guys are here. Welcome, guys. Thank you. It's an absolute honor. <laughs> why did you pick? Uh, why did you pick these particular songs out of the uh, thousands in the catalog? Well, I couldn't not play Davy Fallout. Uh, I think when he sent it to me, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and I remember I sent it to you. And when you reply in capital letters, that means you like a track, and yeah, you were like, "That doesn't happen that often." <laughs> yeah. And then you played it for like the whole year or something. So, how long yeah. have you been part of the team now? Huh? Uh, four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Wow. But do you remember your first track that you signed as an A&R? Yeah. <laughs> oh, weirdly, I was actually signing tracks when I wasn't a full a and R. I I think okay. I was going through Ruben, like, hey, do you like this one for 138? This so, one, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I couldn't honestly remember the name <laughs> of it, to be honest with you. What about you, Harry? Uh, I've signed so many tracks, I, yeah. I, it's hard to remember what the first one was, but <laughs> yeah. probably something from my good friend Artie. Um, Artie, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so how does it work? Because I, I mean, I know, but a lot of the listeners yeah. now don't even know who you guys are, but you're playing a really important role. C can you tell us like, wh which, which artists do you manage, for example, Harry? Uh, so I'm working with Ferry, he's here, yeah. uh, Artie, uh, I've worked with Mark Sixma, Andrew Rail. Um, so yeah, a whole bunch of people really. I'm working with a guy called DoD in the UK as well. So yep. house and trans, some more commercial things. So nice. really varied actually, yeah. And, and you, James, what, what um, are you managing? Ben Gold, Luke Bond, Standerwick. Um, people are going to hate me for forgetting their names. <laughs> Martin Dion, but also a bit like Harry, diversifying now with the whole techno trance thing. So I'm working with guys in the UK like Alan Fitzpatrick doing more techno and we're the bridging the gap so it's really interesting times for trance so okay so i'm a i'm a i'm a young i'm a young army van buren i'm 16 years old and i'm watching this radio show right now and my dream is to have a release on armada music send your music to me yes so how <laughs> so, no 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 no, I want to know, Not like, he's saying I'm, I'm, back sorry, then. I'm 16. <laughs> no, but you don't know me. You right. know, I'm, I'm a nobody. Right. I'm 16 years old and I want to, I want you to listen to my track. What do I do? I think the best, the best advice I can give to anybody is get out there, put yourself in situations where you're going to get connected. So go to events, go to conferences, come to the Armada office. No, I have a track right now. Oh. I have an MP3. I want you to listen. I want it. I want to sign it to Armada. Where do I send it? Find me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, what's your tag? <laughs> at a secret. Fowler Harry. At no, Fowler Harry. Harry. Yeah, at Fowler Harry on Instagram. You can send it to me. And James? Uh, yeah, you can uh, hit me up on Instagram, James Hyatt twenty five, or try and find my email address out. It's not hard to guess. <laughs> <the direction. laughs> <laughs> or use the demo, the demo Dropbox yeah, link. Label Radar. We use Label Radar for demos, so uh, we check them on a weekly basis, as well as the uh, email demos that we get in as well. So, uh, yeah, please send demos. And uh, what's one of the mo upcoming things that you're most excited about? Ooh. Ooh. I think for me, there's a, a, a movement going on in the UK with this whole '90s trance thing. So, we're seeing we're seeing a lot of. Uh, stuff coming in basically a lot of demos from unheard artists post covid basically it seems to be being a right reset so um yeah it's exciting times in the uk i must admit i, I really can't wait for july 2nd that's gonna exactly. be crazy when we're going to the dockyards with the state of trance the yep. event the first event after utrecht and i think it's going to be crazy yeah it's going to be massive and you harry uh i'll just name some artists so laura van damme achilles super in tab they're all doing amazing stuff for the minute um, I'm working with Reorder and he has his crowd control project. That's really cool. They, those guys have an album coming as well. So um, ah. yeah, lots of exciting stuff. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, thank you uh, so much for being here. I know I put Pleasure. you quite in the spotlight, but <laughs> I think we have uh, enough uh, reason to because we're celebrating Absolutely, 20 years yeah. of the label. So keep keep up the good work and thank please you. keep uh, signing those amazing tracks for, uh, for A State of Trance. Will do. Thank you for inviting us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for a legend here in the studio. Coming up in just a bit, Signum and David Forbes. But first, our resident, ladies and gentlemen, Ferry Corsten. He brought some of his personal favorites of 20 years of Armada music. Give it up for Ferry Corsten, ladies and gentlemen.
Trance, let me hear you from Ferry Corsten. <laughs> Honestly, this never gets old. You know, seeing Ferry Corsten play uh, out of the blue is one of the highlights, I think, in trance music in general. And I'm super happy he's part of this special episode of A State of Trance, celebrating 20 years of Armada music. And one of the last labels to join the Armada music family has been a Flash Over Recordings, Ferry's own label. And uh, it's also your birthday party, uh, Ferry. It is, right? You've, is. Uh, you've <laughs> seen the start of the label in 2003, but before all of that, you had a history with Michael Piron already. Because not a lot of people know that before we started Armada music, you already worked with Michael. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we, uh, we, we worked together uh, quite extensively on, uh, on, on the Tsunami label at the time. Um, to which Out of the Blue was sort of like the first success. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, we had a long, we have a long anecdote about you know how we marketed the this track when it came out. It was so different from anything else. Michael, so, Michael, can you join us? Yeah, can, just, can you uh, uh, can you t- <laughs> t- t- tell the story because I, this is what I, see a lot of people call uh, '99 to 2001 the golden age of trance, and this record that we hear in the background, Out of the Blue, mm-hmm. was part of that golden age. Can you yeah. remember when Ferry? Uh, nah. Finish that track. You know, it's always a dream if you uh, do, are doing A and R, and and a producer is calling you, an artist is calling you, and and then plays a record through the phone because back then it was 24 years ago. Yeah, I was. Say, I, I, I remember I was in Venice, yeah. and 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 it was too expensive <laughs> to pick up the mobile. <laughs> so uh, you called me on the landline. You play the melody, and I'm like, fuck, you know, <laughs> this is insane. This is a hit. Yeah. This is a hit, and and then we we decided to do a little promo on it, and I told Ferry, okay, you should help me, <laughs> and we were like in the office on the ground scratching the numbers out of the white labels. Yeah, the, the serial number, so no yeah. one could actually recognize what label this came from, right? So we made it we made it super, so like we did guerrilla style almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, uh, with the whole ransom letter at the back, right? Like ransom out of the letter, blue, and it was blue, like, and it was a mobile it. on on the vinyl. Yeah, you're cool. so basically yeah. after one week, I had Pete Tong, Judge Jules, Paul Oakenfold, everyone, everyone was calling me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, that was a good promo, right? That was a good promo. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, yeah, good times, man. I mean. Uh, and 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 you know since since we're with the label with uh, with the uh, flash over now with Armada we've seen a lot of transformations of going on of like from these old tracks like this is the Elon Bluestone remix uh, mm-hmm. you know the the, the Avril remix that I just played a beautiful so all these old tracks got a new sort of sheen and a new touch here uh, as soon as we came here and uh, there's there's obviously a lot more coming but uh, yeah it's it's been good times awesome well thank you so much for being here ferry i truly appreciate it. i know you're a resident but uh it, it's not like just normal that you guys are here it's incredible so once again ferry course cinema Michael. Yeah. now on with our next guest one of the most steady producers right now with a string of releases on who's afraid of 138 but he initially joined armada music all the way back in 2006 with an ep on 68 recordings the label of dj remy on a decks right now specially flown in from scotland give it up for david forbes <laughs>
A S O T Celebrating 20 years of Armada music in this special episode of A State of Trance. I'm Amin Van Buren, just off the decks, Mr. David Forbes! <laughs> Thanks, David, for being here today. Take us back to the year 2006. Do you still remember signing your very first tracks to your Armada music, Safety and Electro Killer? Yes, absolutely, of course I do. Um, it was a very proud moment in, in my career. When I signed those tracks to Armada, it was just one of those labels back in the day that, you know, everyone wanted to be a part of you know and it was just i was very fortunate that um, you guys signed the tracks it's just mind-blowing yeah the the music has changed a lot over the years our modern music has too what do you think is the biggest difference from from then 2006 till now um i think the the tempo and diversity you know i, I think i think obviously technology is a lot better now you know you know the i'm not saying the production was bad then <laughs> the production was incredible you know but I think just as years go on, you know, the production techniques get a wee bit more intricate and, you know, I think the overround 
overall sound quality of music nowadays is ten times better. Obviously, it's digital now, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you've obviously got I, I, and the things I remember mostly from back in the days, vinyl. Yeah, of you course. Know? Yeah, I remember. It, I mean, before two thousand five, it was completely unthinkable to DJ with anything else but vinyl, right? Yeah. And, and all of a sudden, the pioneer came with those players, and then everybody was playing USB and CDs and everything. Yeah, yeah. and we weren't a real DJ. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm super happy to tell, and uh, everybody uh, knows already that you're uh, part of the lineup of a State of Trance festival in London, July 2nd, and you're playing back to back with Mark Sherry. Did you yeah. guys uh, prepare a lot of jams for that? Yeah, yeah, we just finished one last week, and um, he's, he's actually in the studio tomorrow. You know, oh, so nice. we're working on another one for the the, the event, which is uh, yeah, exciting. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for being part of Armada. Thank you for coming all the way here, especially for this uh, special broadcast, uh, Mr. David Forbes. Thank you. I can't wait to hear more music from this uh, legend. Thank you. And now we go to an artist that has been part of A State of Trance and Armada Music from the very beginning. I'm a massive fan of his work. Uh, we've been uh, we've known each other for such a long time. Uh, the first tracks that we signed were Push Through and Sunny Changes at the, and uh, broadcasted in one of the very first episodes of this, uh, this radio show. In the studio right now, I'm going to ask him all about it in just a bit. But first, the music. Give it up for Signum! <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, this sure, sure brings back a lot of really good memories. Make some noise for Signum! Woo! Ron, thank you so much for joining us today. Do you remember uh, signing your first track to Armada Music? Yeah, man, that was uh, Push Through, the very first one. Yeah. Uh, I met you and uh, Michael in Ibiza in uh, 2002 or three, I think. And you just came up with the idea of starting a company together. Yeah. So uh, you, you you asked me if uh, we had some track left because BPM, the, the company we were with uh, back in the day, they went bankrupt. So we were looking for a new bank, uh, new record company. Yeah. And well, luckily you guys started Armada and that was uh, the beginning of history. Incredible, man. I'm, hearing these tracks totally brings me back to that a era and I really miss that sound, man. What are you doing right now? Are you still DJing a lot? Are still yeah, producing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Kicks are uh, coming in again. Uh, in two days I'm going to fly to Ibiza, play at Eden. Oh, nice. Uh, got Luminosity coming up, Good Grief, Trans in the Woods, so the gigs are good. Yeah. And uh, I'm back to producing again. Nice. After a two year hiatus with uh, COVID. So, um, but let me ask you, because uh, you were a duo yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. But your partner is, uh, has left Signum. Yeah, he's in Norway. I've been doing it on my own since 2008, nine ish How's he doing? Do you still talk to I him? I don't talk to him anymore, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, can we expect like tracks like these again, like Maybe. from you? you? You never know. You never know. Uplifting <laughs> is back, man. I'm telling it's, you, it's definitely back. It never left. <laughs> <laughs> and you've released. I hear you've been releasing some new music, but only on vinyl. Is that true? It was. Uh, I needed some form of income yeah. during uh, COVID because I burned through all my savings, and I was like, okay, I need to do something which can generate a bit of income. Yeah. And I had these tracks lying down. It's like, what if I release them on vinyl? It can be like a niche item. Maybe people will buy it, and then. Uh, I can pay my rent. Can you uh, can you do a, a set, a vinyl set then, in the future, in, in a state of trance for us, in hour number two? Would you like to do that with those vinyl tracks? Because I want to hear them, man. Possibly, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll plan it in. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Uh, it's so lovely to see you again. Now make some noise again for Ron from Signum! <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's, time flies when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. We have are having so much uh, amazing guests here. Thank you all for coming to the studio today. Uh, yeah, it's been so much fun. Really bringing me back. 20 years flew by. Unbelievable, Incredible. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I have the pleasure to end this special episode with one of my favorites. Actually, one of the reasons I started Armada Music, because at the time I was signed to United Recordings, and I love those guys. They were amazing, but they weren't really feeling the trance sound. And I had this track from Mark Olten. Mm -hmm on a CDR and I said, I want to sign it to our mind. And they said, we're not feeling it. I'm like, what? We're not feeling it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're not feeling it. And now Mark Olten, uh, you know, uh, is, he's still he's still out there. I think he's teaching music. He's a coach right now also for uh, Martin Garrix, for example. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that this was one of the very first Armada releases. Mark Olten's Mushroom Therapy, Lightscape Remix. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you next week for a new State of Trance. <laughs> Hey, a state of trance. This is Mark Holton. Armin, Michael, Dave, congrats on the 20th anniversary. What a milestone. Incredible. And uh, thanks for letting me be part of it. My favorite memory has to be the parties, actually. Because, not just because they are parties, but also because it got me an opportunity to uh, meet some other artists. And it created some lifetime friends for me, like Barry O'Neill, Robert Nixon, Leon Bollier, and many more. So that's always been amazing. Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be in the studio with you, would have loved to be there. But I'm currently on a road trip to Ibiza, I'm going to spend some time there. So uh, I hope you'll have a great evening. Armin, Ruben and listeners and watchers, thank you for your support and uh, have a great evening. Ciao! Thank you for tuning in. Or join discord.gg slash Armin Ben Buren. We'll be back next.